Kia ora. The Ministry of Health has released a consultation document which sets out who can produce medicinal cannabis in New Zealand, who can prescribe it and who, who can use it. I wanted to talk to you a bit about that and really urge you to make a submission. The document has balanced the needs of medical professionals and industry as well as patients, so I think it's really important that patients and their whānau do take the time to make a submission on the document. The big picture is that we're really coming ahead in leaps and bounds in New Zealand with medicinal cannabis. Over the last couple of years, we've moved towards a place where um, products are going to start to be more accessible really soon. I know a lot of people are starting to feel very disheartened and frustrated about how long the process is taking, but this is the, your chance to make one final push. We can't drop the ball now, so please do make a submission. So the proposal that the Ministry of Health has put has some really good things about it. One is that products will be more, cheaper, uh, more cheap and accessible, so they'll be developed in New Zealand, which will lower the prices. They'll also be produced to a really high standard, which means that doctors will have um, much more confidence in prescribing them, and patients will know that what's on the tin is what they're getting. You'll be able to get uh, medicinal cannabis for a wide range of conditions, so your GP will be able to decide if it's the right medicine for you. Uh, there'll also be a wide range of products available, so uh, dried cannabis will be able to be prescribed for vaping, for example. Some of the things that aren't so good is that prescriptions will still require the sign-off from a specialist. Previously, you've had to have a sign-off from the Ministry of Health, that's going, but you will still need a specialist just to, to back up what your GP is saying about what medicine you need, and we don't think that that's right. We think GPs sh should be able to, to make that decision themselves. Another thing that's not so good is that there'll be, um, yes, there'll be a reduction in prices, but we don't actually know how much or when. There may be a time lag of you know, a year or two while products are developed, um, which we think is a little bit concerning for patients. And in terms of cost, there's no guarantee by how much that cost is going to come down either. So we would have really liked to see um, the option for patients to continue growing their own medicine, at least until we know that products are going to be cheap and accessible for all patients. The other thing we would have liked to see is that the Ministry could have put a little bit of creative thought into thinking about um, some, subsidy, some subsidies so that we know that people, um, all people who really need access are able to get that access. So that's our summary of the uh, Ministry of Health's consultation document. Hope it was helpful, but they really need to hear it from you. So please do make a submission. Um, it's really easy to do. You just need to Google Ministry of Health Cannabis Consultation, or you can go to the Drug Foundation's website. Take a look at our policy pages, because we've put together a consultation guide which should make it a lot easier for you to make a submission. And yeah, if you have any questions, please do feel free to email me on this address here. Good luck.